so hello and welcome back to the course so in this uh, tutorial here we, what we're gonna do we're gonna cover menus okay so the breadcrumbs which is this this little thing I go down here see this link at the bottom here so what happens there is if, if I go to other page here you see that it keeps a trail of the pages that I visited so if I wanna go back to the previous page it just takes me back to the previous page by clicking there oh you just can use the menus the normal menus uh, another thing that we need to look here is okay if you look here I go a square here okay and we also are gonna cover this one so there is links and the red lines is labels okay it's just so I can uh, uh, separate my uh, categories uh, and relevant markets okay now a good way to find relevant markets is you know we showed this in the previous videos about two videos ago when I type in my word or phrase and then click search this is on Google keyword uh, he also so shows me relevant markets here okay so relevant markets if I click there computer software is also related to online business uh, business and productivity activity software and if I go down here as well is go hobbies and leisure and what what we see here toys and games games and basically that's games that is part online computers and game puzzles so it's part of online business strategy games so that somehow falls into the same category as online business so this can as well be categories for us to use okay then if I carry on going, then law and government products, uh, legal documents, uh, business formation, and incorporation documents. So there it goes, more, more markets. And then we go vehicles as well, that fall into online, online business, uh, personal, airplanes and aircrafts. So whatever that is, is going to be sending. Okay, so let me enter this code. Once me to enter the code just to give me the keyword, but probably the keyword will be private private aeroplanes or business planes or something like that. Okay, so why all this? Okay, so if we look in eBay, what we see here again, just like the same thing I go here on the on the labels, okay, where is no clickable is just to to get my categories apart, right? eBay is going exactly the same thing so you can see the black test there and then links and then another clicker there so it is more but one of the things that I want you to notice here as well is this arrows okay which means people are used to see arrows which means there is more okay and if we go to Amazon the same thing happened okay so there is the arrow and there is more arrows okay and then again the orange letters are not clickable it's just to, sp to split basically the labels just a label you know and then it's all links okay so this is just to give you an idea so then you can check this better later how, how all this is, is is done in amazon and ebay so we can build something that people are pretty much used to see so what do i need to do here now so i need to add arrows to my menus here instead of the squares okay and uh, this one's you know that this menus here will explain i will show again but i'm sure i already did but i do it again so you can see and i'm going to show you as well how to add these labels or to label this this categories here okay so let's go to excite pro and on excite pro so the first thing i'm going to do is go to my info bar and i'm going to add my arrows here okay so info bar so i'm already on info bar Go menu settings. Oops. Um, once I'm in menu settings, I just need to look for the sub menu indicator image. Okay. And then when I'm here, I'm just going to add an arrow. Okay. Let's see if it's a big one here. I think that one here. Maybe the best one. Yeah, it's gonna use this one. 
I click next yeah that looks nice I still go the squares showing up after they are clicked so let's go back here and see what happened here I may have there it goes there is the squares again so I want to add a big arrow it's like the same big arrow as I add it's this one here and click next that should now there it goes okay so then just basically click finish and it basically changes the now to arrows click save to make sure it's save so it's not lost it's not lost and the next one is uh, let's say i would want to add more menus popping up here to the left like amazon scored it okay so what we do we go here to web pages page settings and once we select one of those routes here you can see the route going here uh, we can use let's say i want to use this one to appear next to the one above okay so I select this one and click on this arrow to push it in so it actually pushes in to inside of that menu there so if i click save here now if i go back here to the page layout and i'll go there you can see that appears another arrow and then the menu appears there okay so it's not as short as there is not a way to be short as and there's always arrows pointing and telling people where the 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 menus will be okay now the next one that we go here is this one okay the these labels so add in the labels so these labels we add them very simple so I'll go back here to web pages and in web pages you can see here I got this purple gray squares here it says categories and then I go e-business and e marketing which is the labels that I go here categories and e-business and e-marketing so if we just want to add a category to split to split the, the, the niches all we do is on this top here on holder okay because this can move up and down okay if I select just the table okay because this is just a category adding if I select that I can actually move that up and down and put it whatever I want to put it okay so that one is there and this e business is going to be there let's say i want to add a new one and i would be choosing the category adding add and give it a name okay online click ok and it's been added there now i must say i want to show this on the right menu remember just like everything we always need to tick these things make sure it's going to work and i don't gonna no it's gonna be on the left and it's gonna leave that like so i'm gonna change change the color as well from black to red I click ok and click save okay now if i go back here to the page layout you can see that i go online just below the red there I can also have a white and a red background like the one I go there just by changing the background colors so if I go back here to page settings and uh, let's move this online make sure it's selected uh, let's move it right down to the bottom okay so it's now down at the bottom I click save if I go back to page layout and now online is dot at the bottom okay so this is how we we change uh, the position okay this uh, i just did that to show you because i don't really want to keep that but just to show you how to add them and what we can do as well is get this bold okay so when i get a bold if i go back there i should didn't bold it Yes, it did bold, but it's because it's a 10, so it's a B. Small, let's leave it at 12. Let's check it. Okay, it's not changing this one. What's going on? Is 
you select this means yes it is select so let's go back here okay it's not changed because i think i saved too early or oh, this may be the screen recording as well so it doesn't make any change but this is where you change it so if i want to change let's try and change this to white and use the background in red Click save let's see the page out right now it's changed okay <laughs> so it's something to do with the recording the screen is interfering with the with the system but you can see that it changed and what i gotta do is just just to put this back to 12 okay put that back to 12 and i actually gonna put that center and click save the page layout and there it goes now it's not changing again so is um, something to do with the, with the screen recording here itself There it goes. So basically, that's it. That's how we we split the the menus and adding the links. So adding the links is is just like the same way you add the page. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one because I don't want this one. Okay, and adding pages and links. Okay, so if I I add another page, I already did this, but I gotta do it just to show you. So there is the new page okay and then i can move it in okay so i put it inside the privacy which is now inside the privacy so i want to take that out of there it, it goes out and i can move the page to anywhere i want so this is it this is how we work the menus and the next video still be on this uh, pretty much on this subject uh, which we're going to use let me delete this one which we're gonna use this area so we're gonna use in the next video we're gonna use this area and then after this after we finish because we're gonna cover uh, the search engine site maps uh, we're gonna use the silly log here and we're gonna use probably if it's enough time on the same video we're gonna try use the xml syndication here so pretty much uh, this covers wraps is up for this video go ahead practice the, the menus okay it seems complex we probably have to load this video again but isn't okay so do it a few times create a few menus maybe even create a different project okay and mess and play around in the menus so you get used to it and i should see you in the next video so my name is Zenuns. thank you very much for watching bye bye for now